The following video is body cam footage from police in South Yorkshire, England. What it shows is them interacting with Damien Bendall. They were called by him because of an incident that had just taken place. When they arrived, they noticed blood on his hands, to which they asked if he's harmed himself. Damien Bendall says that he has, stating that he stabbed himself in the chest and in the stomach. What follows after this can only be described as disturbing, to say the least. Come, come, come to me. Right. Mate, have you got yeah. anything on you that you shouldn't have? No, there's no weapons or nothing. Right. right. Do you just want them to do your coat? Your coat have, you, have, you, have you armed yourself? Yeah. You have. Have you, have you, got a, have you stabbed yourself, mate? I yeah. can see it. I can see blood on your hands. Yeah. Anywhere else? Just my chest, uh, four inches in with a, with a bread knife. Can we have a look? And, yeah, and one on the stomach. I bled quite, quite a lot. Right, do you want to go down No, 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 just so stay there, stay there. I just don't want to be in front of her. Right, right just around the corner. Just walking wounded at the minute. All right, stand here, stand here, stand here. Stay here. Right, so we're what? told you, I know what's going to happen to you now, mate. Well, I know what's going to happen to you go to prison, obviously, again. Why, what have you done? Have you done something to anyone else? Yeah. What have you done? I've murdered four people. I'm uncomplaint, but he's got some stab wounds to his chest. They're not oozing blood. But he's saying that uh, his family are inside and that he believes he has murdered them. Are you alright for me to go in? Damien, it's 0747 hours. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. Do not mention when questioned something like relying on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Your arrest is necessary to protect you from harm, to prevent your disappearance, for a prompt and effective investigation. Okay? The police were still unsure, but the moment they went inside of the house to investigate further, they found the bodies of Terry Harris, John Paul, Lacey Bennett, and Connie Ghent. The officer whose body cam is being shown can be heard breathing heavily after looking inside of the house, an appropriate and understandable response considering the circumstances. Damon Bendall has since been sentenced to life in prison for his shocking act. What you see on screen is a video that was recorded by this woman on the 25th of May in Sweden, who noticed something strange from her balcony. What she saw is her ex getting a ladder and scaling it, trying to reach her apartment. What she didn't know though, was the fact that he was armed with rocks and a knife. The whole ordeal was captured on camera. Have a look at the video. A steg, a steg. Okay. What do you what are you doing? 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 The person recording tries his best to keep him away, trying to stop him from forcing his way into the apartment. It doesn't last long though, as he gets hit multiple times. The man manages to break the window of the balcony, eventually forcing his way inside. When the police arrived and apprehended him, they found out that he had stabbed his ex's friend, leading to the conclusion that he had more sinister intentions. He was sentenced to two years in prison and prohibited from entering Sweden for a minimum of 10 years. This video is eerily similar to that of the Russian lathe accident. The man can be seen at his workspace when suddenly, his t-shirt gets trapped in the lathe. At least, that's what the news has reported. The lathe here isn't as big as the one in the Russian lathe accident, though it can still be deadly. What follows is a desperate struggle to make sure that he doesn't get pulled into it. Take a look.
He manages to hold his ground extremely well, with his t-shirt being torn and taken in. His colleagues had quickly rushed in to help and see if he was okay too. If it wasn't for his strength, there's a very good chance that this video would have become infamous and extremely gory. What you see here is actually a different perspective of a viral clip that shows a police car getting launched into the air after hitting a pit maneuver. The viral video was taken from the dashcam of the police car behind this one, which captured it going quite high into the air. When looking at this dashcam footage, the scary nature of the incident can truly be realized. Watch. For what seems to be like an eternity, the car is in the air with its nose pointed upwards. Only the sky can be seen before a loud thud where the car hits the ground and flips. The man being chased by the police was 34-year-old Justin Battenfield, who died as a result of this crash. The trooper who had pulled the pit maneuver was taken into hospital without any serious injuries. Justin Battenfield didn't actually commit an extremely serious crime, which makes the situation even more bizarre. He was on the run from police because he refused to stop for a cop after running a red light. This decision sadly ended up costing him his life. Do you think this was a bit too much considering the circumstances? Let me know in the comments. This is a video that will catch quite a few people off guard. It was recorded in India by this man who was at a zoo. What he's recording is a hippo trying to leave its enclosure. The hippo is stopped in his tracks by a security guard who slaps him back into his area. Have a look at the video. <laughs> Many aren't actually aware of this, but hippos are one of the deadliest animals in the world. They are said to cause around 500 deaths of humans every single year, making this video of a security guard slapping one back into its enclosure even more shocking. At times, the hippo tries to bite the guard, though he doesn't actually seem very bothered by this. In reality, he's quite lucky that the hippo wasn't agitated, otherwise he would have been in a way more dangerous situation. What do you think of this video? Let me know in the comments.